Hi everybody, Marco Carvalho here from businesscreditblogger.com. Today's video, we're gonna talk about the top three unsecured business lines of credit that you can acquire. This is actual cash credit that you can use for your business. We're gonna talk about the minimum requirements and how to apply with these three top sources. So let's get started. And again, don't forget to give us the like button and click subscribe if you also wanna be notified on videos that we're putting out like this on building business credit, also maximizing your funding opportunity. So let's get started, folks. Uh, okay, so top three criteria. Why do I say these are the top three business lines of credit? Well, the criteria that uh, helped me make this decision is pre-qualifications number one. Uh, what I mean by that is the, these three types of business lines of credit only allow you to qualify and know if you're, you can get approved for it through a soft inquiry, which I think is huge. Okay, that way they're not pulling your credit, so that gives you the opportunity as a business owner to first get, a, get an idea, can I qualify? How much can I get? So this soft pull, it doesn't impact your personal credit. Okay, they're also obviously gonna look at your business. All right, so these three uh, different credit sources are gonna do a soft pull for pre-qualification, okay? Uh, the second criteria that I looked at is the application process. Is it simple to apply? Do I have to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork? Do I have to fax it in? Do I have to email it? And that's where this is all done online, 100%, very simple, streamlined, uh, and, and quick for you. So it's, it's not burdensome. You don't have to go to a, a location to apply or fill out a hard copy or anything like that. The third thing is the actual approval requirements through, for these top three. What I looked for is uh, how does it, how much, what's required to get approved. Obviously there's many types of lines of credit out there, especially your traditional lines that banks offer you. But the approval requirements can be very burdensome, especially if you're a startup or you're a business under two years in operation. Uh, you may ha not have those tax returns. You may not be showing a great profitability uh, uh, on your net income at the end of the year when you file taxes. You may not want to uh, provide all this documentation. So what's the minimum approval requirements? Is there a lot required to get approved? So that's another th thing I looked at. Uh, and also the documents required. What's required? to uh, get approved and to apply. Do I have to provide a whole bunch of paperwork, P&L statements, financials, uh, etc.? So that's another criteria that I looked at is minimal documentation, minimal approval requirements, very simple application process, and uh, they don't do a hard pull for you uh, during pre-qualification. And the time to fund, how quickly can you get access to this funding? So uh, you're talking one to three days, that's how quick. Uh, you can get funded with the first two and the third one is 14 to 20 days. So we'll talk about that, each one in detail. So this is what I, why I label these three lines of credit for the business, um, my top three criteria. And this is unsecured by the way. So you don't have to secure your line of credit with your accounts receivables. You don't have to secure it with, with any assets for the business or like that. This is completely unsecured lines of credit that you can use for cash and purchasing. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, so let's first get into the first business line of credit, completely unsecured, is uh, this is, uh, what we mean by cash credit is many of you who are looking for a line of credit for your business is you may be looking for a line of credit that allows you to pull cash, have it deposited into your business check account so you can use it for whatever you need for the company, okay? Obviously there's some restrictions for other types of lines of credit out there. They may only allow you to use it for a specific purpose, well, this particular lender, you can use your cash for anything. So you can access your line of credit anytime and have the cash deposited in your business bank account within 24 hours. That's what's really huge. Now, keep in mind, um, the first thing before I get into this, this particular lender is if you, as a business owner, the first place I always encourage you to check on getting a line of credit for your business is your existing financial institution where you have your business checking account because you have a relationship there, you have history there. So first inquire with them on getting a line of credit for your business. So once you do get a line of credit, or if let's say they decline you because your credit's not strong enough, or let's say uh, you don't ha you're not two years in business and they have a minimum of two years in business requirement, or they want all this documentation and you don't wanna go through that, whatever the reason you can't get a line of credit from your existing financial institution, this is the next step where we're gonna share some other alternative ways for you to get business lines of credit for your company. 
Uh, with that said, you already have a line of credit with your bank. If you do, that's great. Let's say you're looking to ex get more lines of credit for your business. This is also the next step for you. So uh, now with this business line of credit, this particular number one is you can pay as you go. You never over borrow, obviously, because you have a credit limit and you only are going to um, pay back what you borrow. OK, so you can't go over your credit limit for this particular line of credit and you have immediate access to your funds. So once you're approved, you can draw on your line of credit whenever you, you want up to your credit limit uh, and the funds are deposited in your business check account within uh, 24 hours, within a one business day, okay? So you can use that for anything, whether it's an opportunity you have, you have to buy inventory, et cetera. All right, so let's talk about this particular lender, uh, The line, a little overview about it. The line of credit they issued is 5,000 to 150K. Uh, so obviously that's going to be dependent on what you qualify for. Uh, they have flexible repayment terms. Now, what does that mean? This particular line of credit is much different like than a credit card because obviously with a credit card, you know you have a minimum monthly payment and your debt you could carry for years <laughs> as if, if you only just pay the minimum monthly payment. With this, they allow you when you draw on your line of credit, you have four to six months to, to repay on the amount that you draw, draw it on. Okay, four to six months, that's it. So uh, within six months, it's gonna be paid back. Okay, so that's what we mean by their flexible repayment terms. Now, there's no origination fee with this lender and there's no prepayment penalty. So if you draw a lump sum of cash, you need it for a project and you know that you're gonna get a return on your money and, and with the sales, et cetera, within let's say 60 days or 30 days, you can pay it back and there's no penalty. All right, so it's the cost for the, your capital is gonna be even uh, less than if you draw it out for six months, okay? So there's no prepayment penalty, which is huge. And this is a non-reporting BLOC. When we say BLOC, we're talking about obviously business line of credit, but this does not report to your personal credit. It does not report to your business credit. So this is kind of what I call off the grid uh, lines of credit, okay? Which are fine, uh, but uh, this won't help you build business credit, but this will help you build a, a relationship with this particular lender. And uh, obviously they have other funding products as well. Um, now you'll see it right here at the bottom, the, the credit made available for this particular lender is made by First Electronic Bank, a Utah chartered industrial bank. Uh, so let's get into what are the minimum requirements uh, of this particular line of credit. And like I said, it's, uh, I didn't say this yet, it funds one to three days, so it's really, really fast. And it's all done online. So requirements, you have to be at least six months in business. Now there's a lot of different lines of credit you can get out there. Some of them require you to be in business two years, some one year. This is this particular lender is six months. That's the shortest time frame that I've seen out there, which I love about that. So you can be six months months in business. Let's say you're doing fantastic. You have a lot of revenue coming in. You got lots of sales. Your business just skyrocketed. Excellent. Because uh, if you go to your bank, most banks, if you're only six months in business, they're not going to give you a line of credit. Um, because let's say you don't have a long enough track record. So this is an alternative for you to get a line of credit. Uh, you have to be doing at least 5,000 or more in monthly revenues. That's monthly deposits coming into your business checking account. Okay, so if you're doing getting your money from credit card sales, obviously the, those funds when they're settled, they get deposited in your business checking account. Uh, but you should have, you, you need to have that money throwing, flowing through your business checking account. Uh, so that's your minimum monthly revenue. This is not projected revenue. This is actual revenue that has to be coming in. So do not apply for this line of credit unless you're doing 5,000 a month or more in monthly revenue, okay? Business checking account. Now keep in mind, real, let me talk about this revenue real quick. Let's say one this month you did 5,000 in revenue. Last month you only did 2,000. The month before that you did 4,000. Don't apply, okay? Because they look back three, four months uh, of a banking deposit history, or maybe even longer. So you want to have a consistent uh, uh, revenue of five thousand or more a month. Okay. Uh, now you have to have a personal credit score of six hundred or higher. They do a soft inquiry when you apply. Okay, which doesn't affect your personal credit score. This is a soft inquiry uh, during review. Now, once you're approved, and they issue your line of credit. Quick disclosure. Only when you draw on your line of credit for the very first time, they, that does trigger a single hard pull. So let's say you get a $10,000 line of credit, you're approved now, and uh, there's only a soft inquiry, but now you have 10,000 line of credit, 
But let's say you don't need the money yet. Let's say you're, you're in about 30 days, you're ready, you're gonna do your project, that's when you need to draw. So 30 days later, you access your line of credit, say, okay, I need 8,000. You draw 8,000, deposit in your account, they do one hard pull on your credit. Okay, so just make sure you're aware of that when you do your draw for the first time. Um, you'll see the, the website here is bankbusinessline.com. I'm gonna go through the application process with you. You do have to be a US-based business as well. Uh, this is just kind of a quick sample of some of our clients that have gone through this, this one lender to get lines of credit. And uh, these are some of the approvals, uh, which is pretty huge. Uh, this is fantastic. There's money being lent out there, folks. There's m credit being issued right now. So don't think that, uh, you know, now is the time, especially if you're a business and you don't need money right now, that's one of the best times to open up lines of credit for your business, get access to cash and credit because the worst time to apply is when you really need the funds, okay? So your business is healthy right now, you're doing good, you really don't need the credit, that's the best time to set up these different types of access points for credit, cash and credit for your business, okay? That way you can determine when an expense comes up or unforeseen expense comes up or you're an expansion or inventory and you need, a, you need the cash to make a purchase, you can determine which line of credit or which credit product that you have access to do you wanna use for that. Do you wanna use, let's say, your business credit cards? Do you wanna use a line of credit at your bank? Do you wanna use this alternative line that you have over here? Uh, so those are all things that give you that flexibility as a business owner to make these decisions, okay? So how do you actually apply for a uh, business line of credit number one? You go, you're gonna register online for free. Remember, this is free, doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and this is a soft pull on your credit, so there's no, no risk to you there. You go to bankbusinessline.com. That'll take you to the registration page. You're gonna fill out some, and I'm gonna share with you that process real quick. Uh, you can either choose a revolving line of credit or term loan. They also off, offer term loans. And a term loan is a lump sum of cash they're gonna give deposit in your account. And then you have a fixed payment to pay it back. Uh, but the one thing keep in mind with a, with a term loan, uh, yes, you get a lot of money uh, uh, up front. But once you go through that money, you have to apply for another term loan or, or apply for another funding if you want access to more money. Okay, so that's the only drawback with the term loan. With revolving credit, it's, it, you can use it over and over and over again. Uh, step three is you're going to connect your business bank account or accounting software. And there's plenty of accounting software they accept, FreshBooks, QuickBooks, etc. Um, now, uh, to start the review, and they have over 12,000 banks that they support where they can literally underwrite right online dig digitally. Uh, and step four, if you're approved, they log into your da dashboard, uh, you can see your credit available, and then it's really simple. What I love about this is when you draw on your line of credit, you select the amount you wanna draw, and they tell you this is gonna be your payment, uh, your, your repayment uh, amount, and uh, do you want a four month or a six, uh, six months to repay this back? So you know right up front, full disclosure, of what it's gonna cost you to draw on that capital, okay? Uh, and the funds are deposited your account within two days. It's usually a day, but we just put it in here for two days. Um, now, let's talk about the application process. So when you go to bankbusinessline.com, you're gonna first just register. So you put your name, last name, email, and your phone number. And then the next uh, screen is gonna bring you up to here. Uh, and then, like I said, you could choose a revolving line, one-term loan, how much you're looking for, really basic, basic information, very simple. Uh, now, if you have accounting software, uh, you can connect it here and they'll, they'll underwrite and look at your accounting software. So this is great for you if you have invoices. You have outstanding invoices. They do invoice financing as well. So that way you don't have to wait for a client to pay you for an invoice. You can get your money now. All right. So if you don't want to, if you don't use accounting software, or you don't want to ha have them look at your accounting software, you can skip that step. That's fine. Uh, now connect your bank account. You want to locate your bank. Uh, and then once you connect your bank, let's say you use Bank of America, uh, you're going to put in your user, user ID and password that you use to access your online banking. This is totally secured, encrypted, and protected. Okay, so, uh, and of course they put that on there if you want to look at some of the, 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 the security measures they take um, when it comes to how they underwrite and look at your bank account data to underwrite you. Uh, so they connect with your bank once you find your bank and then they're going to verify, you're going to verify that it is your bank account um, and then you click continue. Then they're verifying the account, reading the data and then you put some more information about your business. 
uh, very simple. And then from there you're done. And then they send you an email uh, literally within a day or two on uh, the results. Uh, if you're approved, great. They tell you your, your amount and then you can log in and draw on your line of credit. So that's how simple it is, folks. And of course, you can always uh, request credit limit increases. They could do re-reviews, et cetera. Uh, so that's business line of credit number one. Let's talk about business line of credit number two, and these are completely unsecured. This business line of credit also gives the opportunity to get cash, and I call this cash credit for business lines of credit. Because when you hear out there a lot of people talk about a business line of credit, it can, it can mean a lot of different things. <laughs> Some lines of credit are secured where you're using your accounts receivable, uh, and they use that as this collateral to, to secure the line. Uh, so when we're talking about unsecured, that's you're not putting up anything for collateral, uh, and this is cash credit you can use. Because uh, you'll hear some people say you can get a business credit line with a vendor, but remember that's that's not cash credit. You have a line of credit with a vendor that you can use to buy their products and services only. You can't use it anywhere. These lines of credit allow you to pull cash to use for whatever you want for the business. Okay. Um, now this second uh, option this is pay as you go as well. You only borrow for what you need, uh, pay when you, what you withdraw, and you also get immediate access to your line of credit. Now, this particular one is really unique uh, because uh, you're gonna go to businesscapitalreview.com for this. Don't go there yet, uh, but let me talk to you about the overview of this particular second business line of credit for your business. Uh, there's no application fee you're gonna have to pay. Uh, pay. The, uh, the processor is gonna present to you a one, at least one to two offers. If you get one offer, that's all you're qualified for, but what they're gonna offer you is, is uh, two or three maybe one lender who approves and offers you your line of credit and you get to select if you want to accept the line of credit. Um, so that's what's really unique is there may be two or three lenders that want to give you a line of credit, but you only can select one and they present to you what offers are available to you, which is really neat. And this is a soft pull on your credit also. The line of credit will go from 10,000 to up to 250,000. Okay, so remember the first one that's one line of credit you can get, okay? This is the second one that you could get, provided that you have the requirements for it, okay? Flexible repayment terms are six to 18 months, so this is a little longer repayment terms, okay? Um, which is great for you. This is also flexible for you, and your time to fund is also one to three days, all right? So let's talk about the requirements for this line of credit. And remember, you're gonna be presented with a lender that approves you if you qualify and it could be one or two lenders one or two offers you only get to select one but you have to be at least one year in business for this particular product this this funding solution okay six months of most recent bank statements that you have to provide or you're going to use a technology called Finicity which they provide to you which allows them to connect to your bank account and underwrite digitally as well so this is this gives you an option okay um, either you provide hard copy six months bank statements or you can use the digital option of uh, Finicity. Uh, minimum monthly revenue on this is 15,000 in monthly revenue, 15. Okay, so remember the previous one is a minimum of five. All right, so you could be do five, 10,000 a month of revenue, then the first option is the great option for you. Let's say you're doing 15, 20,000 a month of revenue then you also, not, not only do you qualify for number one, but also you qualify for number two, pre-qualify, excuse me. So, but you have to be doing 15,000 in monthly revenue. If you're not, do not apply, okay? Um, they also do a soft inquiry with Experian for this business line of credit. Your personal credit score has to also be above 600 minimum, okay? Um, so, the, this is a, you also have to be a US-based business. So these are the basic requirements uh, for the second business line of credit. Uh, how do you apply? You're gonna go to businesscapitalreview.com and you're gonna enter your basic information, click submit, and step three, you'll be contacted via phone and then they give you a link to your online application to fill out, fill out digitally, really simple, and you can either decide to up, upload your six months of bank statements or you can use Finicity and have it, your bank account data reviewed digitally uh, online, electronically, okay? But that's how simple this is. Remember folks, this is a simple application process. 
They don't pull your hard pull in your credit for pre-qualification, okay? Uh, and then th th this is a, the decision was within a matter of a day or two, you'll know if you're approved. Uh, and so that's why I'm telling you these are one of the best options for you. And that's why I say it's my top three, okay? Uh, once your application and bank data is submitted, the review takes 24 to 40 hours, and that's when you receive your BLOCK offers. Okay, so that's how quick. They, now, remember, they may only present to you one offer from a lender because let's say that only one lender want to present you an offer. Or let's say you have three offers. Well, you get to decide which one do you want. Which one offers the highest credit limit? Which one maybe provides you the best terms that you want? Uh, but these are revolving lines of credit. Okay, so you're going to go to businesscapitalreview.com. This is the simple process. Put your name information here. One year minimum business, 15K minimum monthly revenues. Once you click submit, then they're going to call you via phone. Okay, so NBC will call you. Um, National Business Capital, so be ready for that call. Uh, and, and, and call them back right away if they leave a message. That way they can start and send you the application and get things moving forward for you. Okay, uh, so that is option number two. Let's talk about business line of credit number three. And this is a little bit different than for the first two because the first two, we talked about cash credit, all right? You can withdraw from your line and you get cash deposited in your business bank account. This one's known as transactional business lines of credit. Now, what does that mean? This typically, and these are actual business credit cards. So business credit cards are a line of credit, uh, but they're, used, they're mainly used for transactional purchases. What does that mean? Your business credit card is mainly used for purchasing. Anywhere of these are MasterCard accepted, uh, but you can pull cash from your, your business credit card. So, but they're mainly used as, we call them transactional lines of credit for the business because they're mainly used to make purchases. So do you see what's going on here? Number one and two, we gave you a way to access cash. All right, provide that you meet the revenue requirements. This third option is a way for you to have a line of credit for purchases. Okay, you could still pull cash from number three, but you have to be a little bit more creative about that. Okay, so we've done videos on uh, how to convert credit cards into cash. Uh, watch that video up here. Um, and also remember, we offer cash liquidation service. You could do the balance transfer strategy. So there's many creative ways for you to pull cash from your credit cards. You could use a service like Plastic. If you need cash from your credit card to pay a, a contractor or another vendor or a company or an expense, uh, and they charge about 2.6 or 2.7%. I'm not sure what the rate is now, um, but that's another option, solution for you. Uh, this particular line of credit, this is pay as you go. You never overbower as well. You have minimum monthly payments. And these, these business credit cards are, are a little, is much more different than a traditional line of credit. There's still lines of credit for the business, but uh, with a business credit card, you have a minimum monthly payment. Uh, so it's, it's much easier debt to service compared to the other lines of credit we talked about where you have four or six months or, uh, or 18 months to repay because you're limited on repayment. With a, with a business credit card, you have your minimum month of payment so you could draw on that or you could draw out your, your balance much longer. It's going to cost you more in interest, um, but uh, it's much more easier debt to service if you have a balance on your credit cards but there's ways to take advantage of that 0% uh, with introductory offers. Uh, with our business credit card funding program, uh, we get you four to five business credit cards and at least one or two of the cards will come with a 0% introductory offer depending on what the bank wants to offer you. Uh, so make sure you watch that video uh, on um, our balance transfer strategy. But the 0% offers gives you on purchases for six months, 12 months, which is great. You can't do that with a traditional line of credit or alternative line of credit. They don't offer 0% offers. Business credit cards do. So that's another unique aspect of number three. So how does number three, let's talk about the overview. Your credit limits are gonna be 25 to 150,000 in combined business credit card limits. That's our, our, our range for our customers. Uh, right now, typically, with the, the shooting of this video uh, during uh, the pandemic, I mean, we're seeing credit limits can, uh, we've seen some go as high as 95 to 100,000. That's exceptional credit with a, an age business. Um, but, you know, as you know, the banks have restricted a little bit on what they're issuing on credit. Um, but we have seen some very high approvals as well. But uh, during uh, post-COVID or pre-COVID, it was up to 150K. Uh, so... 0% uh, intro APR for 6 to 15 months, 1 to 2 cards. Annual interest rates are going to range from 99 to 19.9%. .9%. We're finding the majority of the business card issuers are, are, in, are anywhere from 
a 10 to 17 percent range on the annual interest rate uh, reports only to business credit reporting agencies so the cards through this service only report to business credit so this helps you number one build your business business credit reports because now you have positive bank issue credit reporting your your business credit reports and number two this protects your personal credit because the cards and the debt you carry on those business credit cards don't show up on your personal credit so your FICO is not going to be impacted when it comes to like your credit utilization uh, and this also gives you access to uh, working capital revolving credit whenever you need it so there's a lot of uh, benefits for for coupling traditional business lines of credit with alternative business lines of credit with business credit cards. So see, that's how you get all this flexibility for you as a business owner. So businessfundingreview.com, let me first talk about the requirements. Uh, this is really important. This is different from the other two lines of credit because we with this program, you can use startups. So you can be in business today. You can incorporate it today and get business credit card funding provided that you have these other requirements. Okay, so there's no, now keep in, more, keep in mind though, if you have a business that's two years or older, that's an advantage for you, okay, with this particular program, because an aged business in the eyes of banks is less risk, okay? If you're under two years, you're considered a startup, okay? But that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. So 680 credit scores on two or more bureaus, that's the minimum credit scores. Now, I do wanna make full disclosure, just because you have a 680, 690, let's say you have a 670 on the third bureau, doesn't mean you're gonna get approved, okay? Because we see it all the time. I do want you to watch this video right here, uh, which talks about uh, the reasons why people get declined for business credit card funding. And it goes over all those issues that you wanna watch out for. So please watch that. It's very informative. Um, but the credit scores are just a benchmark indicator. That's all it is. We look at the full report, okay? So you could have all authorized user accounts on your credit, uh, but you have no primaries, you're gonna get declined, okay? Uh, so BKs must be eight years or older if you have a bankruptcy, okay, on your report. Uh, the key is how well you've reestablished yourself in those eight years since your bankruptcy. Uh, we accept credit partners, so if you get declined, we can't approve you, we do accept a credit partner, credit partner, partner can co-sign for your business. And uh, we'll explain to you that if that's the case, if you wanna do that, we'll explain that more in detail for you. Uh, it must be a US-based business. Now, I wanna share with you real quick, and this is gonna help you understand when it comes to uh, what's gonna be my uh, projection. How much business credit card funding can I really get if I'm a startup or if I'm an existing business? Okay, so here's a client It took us 25 days. They were a startup. They received four business credit cards and they received 95,500 in credit card limits combined. Okay, well, how was that done? And how was, let's say you go through review and we only project 20,000 for you. Well, how come this person got 95,500? Well, let me just share with you a little bit about their credit score. They had a 759 credit score. Again, that's great. We've had people with 740 credit scores get declined. We couldn't do funding for them. Okay, so, but look at the difference. This particular uh, client had a good account mix of credit on the report. They had a mortgage, they had an auto loan, they had credit cards. Their highest personal credit card was $17,000 and that was with Chase. And they had that account, here's a big kicker, for 12 years. So you may have a Chase credit card, let's say you have a $10,000 credit limit, but you it's only a year old. Okay, this one's 12 years, yours is a year old. Big difference, okay? So that's something, uh, unfortunately, you can't, you can't um, speed up is your relationship with your card issuers. And that's why I always emphasize for every business owner is to establish multiple banking relationships, multiple card relationships with the banks because you're gonna build that history with all these banks and these lenders. So when you want additional funding or additional credit products, you're already in their system. There's already a relationship there, okay? Uh, this particular client only had two inquiries that were both over a year old. So they didn't have four or five inquiries in the past 90 days. They weren't aggressively shopping for credit, uh, et cetera. They don't have a whole bunch of new accounts they just opened up and then they want to come to us for funding, okay? So remember that you have to be strategic if you're looking to go through, you know, uh, maximize a funding round uh, with with a service like ours okay uh, and their age of business was less than one year old okay so this kind of just gives you an idea 
Um, you know, and remember, this chase card wasn't the only card they had. They had other cards as well. But we're just kind of highlighting that this was their highest credit limit and how long they've had it. Okay? This wasn't an authorized user account. This was a primary account that this applicant had. Okay? This client had. Uh, so let's talk about one more, uh, one more example. This was a combo funding round. And this was a client that came to us that wanted to get as much funding as possible during the window of opportunity when we're doing funding, 14 to 20 days. So they wanted to get as much as they possibly could. So it took us 27 days. We had 141,800 in credit card limits for this client. Uh, they had 815, 817, 79 credit scores. So exceptional credit scores, exceptional. Uh, but they had a great account mix as well. Mortgage, auto, installment, and credit cards. They had all those on the report and they were active. They weren't dormant, they were active. What do I mean by active? That means they had, a, they had an installment loan they were currently paying on. They had a mortgage they were currently paying on. They had an auto they were currently paying on. The, the, unfortunately, what happens is when you have, let's say, an installment loan and you pay it off, that's great. But now it's not active anymore. It's because it's paid off. Okay? So uh, that was an account mix. And their highest personal credit card is 22000 They also had this with Chase account. Uh, 13 years they had this account, which was... Uh, a great history there. Plus, they had a twenty thousand five hundred Bank of America account that was also thirteen years old. So, you see, this client had uh, had a, a good personal credit card, good personal credit card limits, long term relationship. So, I don't want this to discourage you that let's say you only have two years of history with your card, your bank cards that you have. That's okay, but don't be, uh, you know, expecting you know, 90, $100,000 projections if you have a brand new startup and the length of credit history on your credit cards is two years or less. Don't expect that. That's very limited history. And let's say your highest credit card limit's $5,000, okay, compared to 20000 or 30000 okay? So I'm just being completely transparent up front with you on that. But remember, you have to start somewhere. So if you get a projection, let's say you're expecting 75,000 and the projection is only 25, 30,000, that's okay, folks. Remember, this is getting your foot in the door. This is getting your bank, your business in the door with these banks. You're establishing a relationship with these banks. So in six, 12 months, you, you can potentially get a credit limit increase. You can request a credit limit increase. That particular bank may offer another credit product that you want to apply for. And now that you have a relationship with them, boom, there you go. That's an advantage for you. Okay. Uh, and then this particular client only had two inquiries that were both almost two years, two years old. Uh, and the business was three years old. So that's another benefit. It wasn't a startup. It was over the two year threshold. So this is just a quick example. How do you apply for uh, the business line of credit number three, you're going to first order your credit report because we're not going to do a hard pull on your credit. So again, like I said, all three of these, there's soft pulls. So you're going to pull your own credit report. You can go to creditreportengine.com. It costs $1. So when you order your own credit report, that's considered a soft inquiry. So you are supplying the credit report to us so we could do the review. Uh, once you download a report, it has to be in PDF, PDF format. You can't use JPEG. You use the print to PDF function uh, to, to download as a PDF. Then you're going to go complete the pre-qual form. You're going to go to businessfundingreview.com. That's businessfundingreview.com. You're going to fill out the form, upload your report securely. Uh, make sure it's not a summary report. We don't want to just see your credit scores. We have to see the full report to do the review. Okay. Uh, now, it takes us 24 to 48 hours, then we contact you back uh, with the results of the review, and we give you funding projections, how much in credit card limits we project we can acquire for you. Now, there's going to be some results that, uh, let's say you don't qualify for business credit card funding because you have too limited credit, not enough depth, then we may present you other options that you have. Uh, whether it's maybe you, you could apply for a corporate charge card as opposed to going through business credit card funding, or maybe you, you qualify for personal funding as well. So we will give you some solutions if you don't qualify for business credit card funding. Okay. Uh, and then the process takes 14 to 20 days for us to go take you through funding. Now, those are the three major business lines of credit. I call them my top three. <clears throat> and remember, you can take advantage of all three of them if you meet the requirements. Uh, now, if you're looking for more ways for you to build and get business credit for your company, check out our step-by-step -step business credit building system. You can go to Business Credit Builders with an S, 
www.donefeedyoufunding.org. And we also do done for you funding, which uh, our business credit card funding is just one of the solutions we offer. Uh, and with that, I hope you found this information valuable. If it's, it's helping you and giving you some direction, please give us a thumbs up. That way that YouTube knows to share this with more people. Uh, at the same time, click the subscribe tab. That way you're going to be notified and you can always be updated when we have new uh, credit sources we want to share with you, ways to build your business credit and maximize your funding ability. So with that, make it a great day. We'll talk to you real soon.